Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chalvan, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchagudu. Today we discuss about the topic, Principles of Marketing. The first topic, Functions of Marketing. There are 9 points in Functions of Marketing. The first point we discuss about Marketing Planning. It means to identify and understanding the market. The next we discuss about Product and Service Management. The design and the development of product and services that will satisfy the customer needs. Then third we discuss about distribution. It means getting product services to customers including determining the best procedure to be used. So prospective customers can locate a product. Then fourth point we discuss about pricing to establish the value of product and services. Then fifth one, promotion. It means to communicate the information, proceeds and remain that about a company or its product. Then sixth point, selling. It means direct selling, personal and persuasive communication. Then market information management, obtaining, managing and use of market and customer information. Then eighth one is for financing. Then the ninth one is for risk management. It provides security for product, building, equipment, etc. Then next we discuss about buying. It is a process, series of steps that a consumer will take to make a purchasing decision. A standard model of consumer purchase decision making include recognition of needs and wants and evaluation of choice and post purchase evaluation. Then next we discuss about selling. It include compress all those personal and impersonal activities involved in finding, securing and developing a demand for a given product or services. Then next we discuss about transportation. The transportation can be described as the physical movement of product from one place to another place. For some important points is the first one for help to bring product near to the customer, then help to stabilize the exchange process, then third one it enhances social interaction, then fifth point is for it promote business transaction, then it promote international trade and relations. Then mode of transportation, there are five mode of transportation, the first one is for roadway, next one is for railway, third one is for waterway, then air transport, then another one is for pipeline transport. The first one is for road transport. They have to, it is a way of path. We have to travel from one place to another place. At the same time, we have to transfer the goods from one place to another place like auto rickshaw, buses, trucks, etc. The next one we discuss about railway transport. Here it means a transport in which goods are transferred from one place to another place as well as transfer the passengers from one place to another destination. Then next we discuss about water transportation. It means weight of goods are very large in comparison to other means a transportation. It play a very important role in development of export and import goods in different part of the world. Then next we discuss about air transport. It means the characteristic of air transport is that does not need a particular surface track for its working operation. It is the fastest mean of transportation. The cost of operation is very high according to the different mode. Then next we discuss about pipeline transaction. It is used for sending the liquid and gases from one place to another place. Through this means a transport we can also send chemical, biofuel and natural gases. These are the five kinds of transportation is there. Thank you for watching this video.